All right, welcome back to Wally part six. So Wally is pretty much all done, I think. Um, so his hands, all the fingers move and everything, the arms go in and out. So you can kind of place things uh, in his hands. So if you have like, uh, like say like from the actual Wally movie, he had that little plant that he always picked up. So you can take something like that, slide that into his uh, fingers there, and then you can hold it, um, you can drive him around with it and everything. And then the arms and everything move up and down. So I'll throw his arms up there. Kind of through the flower there, kind of cool. Um, but his arms move, they move up and down. Um, you do have to do some calibrating because when I did it the first time, uh, the arms would come down and uh, hit the tracks down here and it would kind of wedge the servos. So you gotta make sure that isn't happening. Uh, I have some issues with the linkage I have up here. So I eventually, I don't use a metal wire like I did, just use the 3D printed part. Um, it's supplied in the files. Um, so his head moves up and down as well, or his neck at least. So that's the bottom joint. The um, top joint can move, the, or the second joint up can move as well, but that wire just is completely destroyed now, so I can't do that. But at least his head does move. Um, so that's really cool. I love how this robot works, and he looks great. So I'd love to take it to some events this year. So hopefully, maybe we'll get to actually do some events. I We go to a lot of BattleBot events. Um, so I'm hoping to take him with us to one of those and kind of show him off. So we're hoping to take Tombstone and Little Vert Boy to some comp competitions this year. Hopefully some up in, Se like the one up in Seattle. And then hopefully if uh, Oregon State has one again, we'll do it down there. In the video with the cool background, I know you couldn't see Wally all that great. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run through everything right here real quick just so you can, guys can see how all the movements and everything are and, and see what the actual finished product looks like. So, um, also I did finish the top of the neck. So, so you can kind of see over here, I just used the actual um, piece that comes in those files to use instead of that wire I had and it definitely works a lot better so I would, I would of course recommend using that instead of trying to do it with the wire like I was. So that's the neck. Um, both joints move now so you can tip his head back and forth, the top of his head back and forth and you can move the neck, the lower joint as well up and down so you can get a really large range of motion with his, uh, with his eyes there. And then his arms move up and down as well. And then if you wanted to, you could also add the actual rotation in here too, and then uh, make his eyes move as well. Um, I don't have those two servos in. I didn't really see a point to it yet. Um, so I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. A lot less working point parts also. And then of course, like I showed you, his uh, hands move in and out, and then all the fingers move so they can hold stuff. Everything definitely works really well. Uh, for the calibration, I believe it's from uh, when you're when you're looking at the uh, top of the code where the calibration part is. I think the minimum is like 250 and the max is like 600. So just kind of set it at those. I think I set it like at 280 and 550 to start, and then you kind of just adjust those numbers uh, after as you test it um, to find where your endpoints are. Or you can use that uh, servo calibration software that also comes in that code. Um, but I didn't want to have to re-upload back and forth all the time. So I just kind of threw it in there, tested where his joints moved. Um, if one went too far, you know, just change that endpoint. Um, and that, that worked pretty good. So thanks for watching this series. It's been really fun. I'm glad we finally finished him. So please like and subscribe. And also comment on what you would like to see us do next. So good luck with your Wally build. <laughs> it was definitely fun, but took quite a bit of time.